Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be talking about Superman Lois, episode 4. Uh, the big one, or at least one of the, well I guess the whole season is kind of big actually. This is being the last season and everything, a lot of stuff's going on that we haven't seen before. And with how the season started out, and with uh, the story progression with Jonathan and Jordan, and just everything that's going on, this one was kind of a big one in the sense that we get the return of Superman after his uh, supposed death in the premiere which was, you know, amazing. This whole show has just been so good, and it's just a shame to see it go. But uh, I think they're going to have it go out on probably a really high note, honestly, just with the writing that we have been getting and just the story that they're going for. And this one kind of hinted at what we could possibly see, how this story it's going to wrap up, and how they're going to, I guess, give it a proper close, considering it's only getting 10 episodes a season, and it's in its fourth season. And... Uh, the way they're going to go about it, but kind of jumping right into the episode, I mean, we got the return of Superman after his death and after he gets that transplant heart from Sam Lane, and uh, it's safe to say that there are some after effects from that transplant, just uh, from what we saw in this episode, because with um, Jonathan now having superpowers and Superman comes back, and you know they they all expected it to happen. I guess in a sense they just weren't sure it was actually going to happen. But he makes his return, and we see him kind of laying low. There's a three week period or more where he is pretty much staying at the Kent farm. He's not going into public eye. He's making everyone believe that he's still gone for the safety of everyone around him. And this one, so he takes advantage of that, and he goes to train with Jonathan. Now, they're trying to include Jordan, but Jordan is being kind of reserved, and he's being uh, kind of guilt-ridden, I think. And he kind of goes into explaining that with Lois towards the, I want to say, middle or end of the episode. Clark is very excited that his other son, that both his kids now are super-powered. They're taking after him, and, they're, and he's excited to show him what he can do, but... Jonathan, it seems, is very advanced with his abilities. He's kind of gotten everything all at once, where Jordan, it took several months, I want to say, for each individual power to kind of emerge as they made their way. But with Jonathan, it's just kind of all at once, as we saw in the last episode, where he was already flying around. He's talking about using his uh, frost breath and his uh, heat vision, and just he's you know 10,000 times stronger or what have you. But in this one, we see that he goes off to train with Clark, and we see those limitations that Clark still has, and I think that kind of points in the direction of how they're going to close out this series, or this story of Superman. Given that uh, while training, Clark crashes from flying around, pushing his body too much, and just in general, pushing himself too much before he has had time to heal because he still has a scar on his chest from the transplant, and uh, his powers just seemingly limited he seems to be affected by alcohol where he wasn't before and just he's more human in a sense and i think that's because he has a human heart and he's going to be taking on some of those attributes of being human and i think that's what they're going to do to give this story the close where honestly i think that superman is going to step down and his boys are going to step up and that's how they're going to defeat doomsday maybe they'll have all one big battle together i hope that's the way it goes i hope they get you know that one big battle together and uh you know hopefully we get that big family moment where they take on doomsday and lex together because the whole episode is you know lon is still trying to find that legal angle where she can lock lex back up she's going in and she's going after the people that were teamed up with him or under his employer or whatever and they do go after the woman that seduced her father and ultimately got him killed and uh, she is on the run. She realizes that Lex will probably kill her, so she's on the run. And this is kind of what triggers Jonathan to go in and fight a fire. Because Jordan is kind of uh, gun-shy after everything that happened with the heart and everything. So he sends Jonathan on his way to kind of take his place to save people or do things while Clark is still trying to recuperate and gain his strength back. And uh, so he's kind of really just stepped away from that whole hero role because I think he feels really ashamed and whatnot. And so he's sending Jonathan out to do these things and he sends him out to a fire and this is where they come across that woman again because they did go after her at one point because Jordan could hear her talking. And so Jonathan and Lois go after her to try to convince her to flip on Lex and she just absolutely won't do it because she knows that if she did, she will die. But uh, Lois warned her that he doesn't like leaving loose ends, and that's kind of what he does. He finds a way to try to kill her, gets her trapped in this fire. Jonathan comes in, but it all seems like it was kind of a trap, too, where Jonathan swoops in there, tries to save her, but then we got this dude 
who has used basically pyro in a sense from x-men where he's got these gauntlets that shoot fire and he's fighting jonathan and he's got himself to a situation where uh clark has no choice but to reveal he's still alive and he goes in there and he saves him and he deals with that guy you know it's all very i guess exciting way to reintroduce superman but it does kind of blow his cover or blow his the or blow the fact that he's been in hiding trying to gain his strength back and everything all while this is all going on we have kyle and chrissy who we know is uh, lana's ex-husband who has paired up with chrissy and got her pregnant and they are trying to get married but then that just doesn't work out they realize that they don't have to get married just because they're pregnant and it's all you know kind of just a b story it's not really a huge point in the episode but with this one we just have the underlining tone that maybe superman or maybe clark won't be who he was and that's kind of the thing with this where he talks about it too where there's the chance that he may not be who he was he may not be 100 percent because of the human heart and just because of the trauma of dying and everything that he's been through because as i mentioned he starts to feel the effects of alcohol he just can't push himself like he used to his strength is just not 100 percent anymore so i think that's the direction they're going where they're possibly going to have him basically retire as superman or just not be 100 percent the guy that's going to be there for everybody where his sons can kind of step in but uh you know all in all again another great episode i really enjoyed the crap out of this and i just i can't express enough how great the writing is how great the acting is it's just the cinematography too alone is just you know miles above what we've seen with previous other shows and just the way they go about doing this show and uh you know the episode kind of closes out on i guess what's going to lead into the next episode where it's revealed to the world that Superman is alive and it's breaking news and you got these articles and notifications popping up on Lois's phone while her and Clark are trying to have an intimate moment. And so we can see that Lex is going to find out and it's just going to be an uh, all-out war, basically, and he's going to send Doomsday after him again. I think this is where Jordan and Jonathan might actually step up and I'm hoping we get some suits for them too, not these little makeshift things that uh, Jordan has been sporting for the last season. And I understand the sentimental thing behind it, being that the goggles are Sam's. And I'm really hoping we see some official House of L outfits or what have you that they can go to battle in and they go up against Doomsday in. Because I think that would just kind of bring things full circle and just, it would make a lot of people happy, obviously, because that's that's the choice that they go with. But uh, again, great episode. I can't wait for the rest of it and just seeing how it all plays out. But my sneaking suspicion is that it will come down to you know, Clark probably stepping down, at least stepping down in the sense of being full-time hero where his sons can kind of take his place, realizing that his body and the things that he went through and the consequences of having a human heart, this is just what he has to live with. He can't be 100% superman like he used to and i think that's the direction they're gonna go but uh, anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to leave a like leave a comment consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers and i'll see you next time so take care bye